Hi kids. Hello! Today I want to continue the series that I started last week with you guys where I was teaching you how to cook. We're still working on eggs. There's like 101 ways to prepare eggs. This week I want to go over three more preparations with you. We're going to go over a fried egg, a poached egg, and a hard boiled egg. These are all super easy. There's a couple things to keep in mind. You got to keep in mind the temperature of our pan or pot of water. You also got to decide how yolky you want it. Do you want like a runny yolk or a hard cooked yolk? You know, it's up to you. I like runny yolk, so we're going to be having some runny yolks today. So when I learned how to make fried eggs at school, it was very similar to the school of thought they were teaching regarding the omelets, where they were like, they didn't want to see any browning. But it's a fried egg. I want a little bit of crispy edge on my fried egg. Like, fried things should be brown. That's my opinion. And I'm the one teaching this class right now, so... We want like a little brown, crispy, yummy, salty edges. So let's just get into it. So you can warm up your pan, start the pan on high for like a minute or so, and then you can add your oil and let that heat up for another minute or so. So we're gonna start with a little bit of vegetable oil. The reason I'm not using butter or olive oil is because those things burn really easily. Olive oil has a low smoke point, and butter has milk solids in it that will burn in high heat. And you can test the temperature of your oil if you're not sure how hot it is by sprinkling a couple little drops of water in the pan. If they sizzle, the pan's hot. No splatters. It's not hot enough. I'm starting to hear the water droplets pop, the ones that I threw in there. Okay, now I'm gonna throw my egg in. I'm just gonna crack it right here. Pull it apart. Turn down my heat. I'll actually take it off the heat. Ooh, that's hot as hell. Okay. I turned down my heat to low. Now there's a couple ways you can proceed. You can flip it or you can baste it. Just putting the hot oil right over the top. I'm gonna flip mine. I wouldn't recommend tossing and flipping right now because there's a lot of oil in the pan. You could hurt yourself. A little salt on there. It's gonna melt right into that. This should take about 10 more seconds. And you can always see how cooked your yolk is just by giving a little poke. Like just touch, you gotta use all your senses guys. You gotta touch your food, you gotta listen for sizzles, you gotta look at what's going on, you taste and smell everything. You gotta use all your senses. If you like it more done, you could leave it going for longer. I'm pretty much done. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's it right there. Gonna give it a taste before we move on. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice and salty. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Now for poached eggs. Poached eggs, I swear, scare the hell out of people. I don't know why. I think it's that swirling thing. People get super nervous about the swirling the water and putting vinegar in the water and all this fucking shit that literally you don't need to do. You don't need to do any of that. We're not going to do any of that today. You want to heat a pot of water, but you don't want it boiling. If it's boiling, it's too high. This is an example of boiling water that is too high. We're going to turn down the heat so that it goes down to not even a simmer. You don't even want it simmering. You don't want action in the pot. If there's slight little bubbles popping from the bottom, just like slight little ones, that's perfect. You're good there. That's as hot as you need the water to be. It's super helpful if you crack your egg into a separate container, a small bowl, or like a teacup even, that will hold the shape of the egg as you dip it into the water. We're gonna take that bowl of egg and we're gonna dip it into the water and just drop it. And right away, the egg's going to want to stick to the bottom of the pan. It's going to sink and it's going to want to stick. So I'm going to take a spoon and I'm just going to create a little wave. I'm not touching the egg. I'm just pushing the water around the egg. I'm just creating a little draft of water in there just so that the egg doesn't stick to the bottom. No fucking vortex or whatever the hell they call it, a whirlpool. We're not doing, no, none of that's necessary. And now you just stand there and watch. You'll see the egg white start to cook. You'll see it becoming opaque. And you'll see all those little strands that are kind of like swimming around. Don't worry about those. We're not eating those. When you think your egg might be ready, you want to use a slotted spoon and pull it out of the water. And again, use your finger and just squish it. Just t touch it a little, tap it a little. If it's as juicy as you want it, that's fine. If you want it more cooked than that, cook it a little more. 
I was gonna make some homemade English muffins to serve this poached egg on, but I didn't get around to it. So I've got some toast and bacon. I'm gonna cut into it. There we go. Oh yeah. This is what you came for. Okay, let's taste it. I'm just gonna pick up this whole toast. Mm. Oh my god. I love poached eggs. Mm. Okay, next egg. We are doing hard boiled eggs, also known as simmered eggs. So there's like a hundred different methods to this. There's people who say put it in cold water and then bring the water to a boil. There's people who say leave your eggs out so that they come to room temperature. There's a million different things that you can do. I'm gonna show you the one that works for me. These eggs have been out of the refrigerator for maybe like an hour. You want to carefully dump them into boiling water and then bring the heat of the boiling water down to just a simmer and then just let them simmer for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes has passed. Now we're going to turn off the heat and let them sit in not just hot water for another five minutes. All right, now I'm coming back with an ice water bowl and I'm gonna take my eggs out of the hot water they've just been sitting in and dump them in the ice water bowl and let them sit for another five minutes. It's egg cracking time. I just like to kind of get a, get a crack going all around center, roll it, and that usually does the trick. Look at that. Sometimes if you get a little water under the shell, that helps to slide it all off. Yes. It's so satisfying. Oh. So satisfying. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, you go in there. I'm just going to do the most basic thing and do some mustard and mayonnaise because kind of just want to eat this. Start with that much. Okay. Need a little more. Mash it up, mash it up. And if you'll notice, look. Beautiful cooked through. None of that green outline. I should have showed you that. There's none of that like green sulfurous color. Beautiful eggs. I'm gonna add a little salt just cause mustard has a lot of salt in it. So I'm just gonna add a little salt. That was my egg tutorial number two. What is this? What is this series called? Cooking one? Cooking 102 complete. Now go put this in practice. Make some eggs. Feel confident. You can feel confident in knowing that these methods work. You just watched them work. And make more poached eggs. Did you see how easy that would just make poached eggs all the time? They're so fucking delicious. Follow me on all the social medias. The links will be at the end of this video. Follow me on Patreon. If you don't have Patreon and don't know what Patreon is, because I know some of you don't. Some of you have told me you don't. It's an app. It's very similar to like a YouTube or any other social media. It just allows me to make a little bit of money off of like doing what I love. So you can subscribe to my page for $3 a month and you get access to all these videos that I do not share on this YouTube channel. Not on, I don't share it on Facebook. I don't share it on Instagram. I don't share it on Snapchat. I don't share none of that stuff over here. And I like to try to be a little more sciencey and creative and fun and experimental over there. So I think you might like it. Anyway, download the Patreon app, find me, add me, pay me $3. Love me. Thank you for watching. Bye.